Today we're going to cover GM Compression Sense Ignition System. We will be using a lab scope to demonstrate how the DIS ignition system develops the signal for cam out or also known as cylinder number one reference. First you might be wondering where do I hook up my scope? The cassette ignition cover is raised up and the plug wires are installed for it the following test. The secondary energy is picked up by the capacitive plate. It is similar to the inductive pickup on an engine analyzer. The circuitry in the ignition control module generates the cam out signal. Next we will look at the cam out signal as sent to the PCM from the ignition module. First we will look at a good waveform. Notice the 1-4 primary event and 2-3 primary event are both high. Here is a bad waveform. Notice the 1-4 primary event is high and the 2-3 primary event is low. This can be caused by the ignition misfiring due to bad plugs, wires, coils, or bad ignition module. You'll notice the CSI signal is ignoring the buildup of relatively slower buildup of ignition energy at the plug. Because of the resistance in the capacitor that pass band filter, it's only allowing that positive voltage transition from the breakover edge to be reflected in the CSI signal from a more negative to a more positive, from positive towards a more positive. Two positive going voltages. Now if you look at the cursor here, this edge here is representing cylinder number four breaking over on compression from a more positive voltage towards a more negative voltage. Let's see if we can get one on compression. Here again, now we have cylinder number one is on the compression, you can see the long buildup of time. Cylinder number one hasn't broke over yet. Yet here's a CSI signal transition from number four cylinder, breaking from a more positive voltage to a more negative voltage. Later this cylinder on compression finally breaks over from a more negative towards a more positive, and we have a CSI signal transition from a positive to a more positive. Again, two positive going breakover edges signal transitions. So what I've got here is channel 1 has a secondary capacitance hook up right to the ignition wires to a secondary ignition wire test set. This system doesn't have ignition wires, so I installed a set. I lifted up the ignition cassette to ascertain these waveforms. Channel 2 here is cylinder number 4. As you can see, the firing amplitude is alternating from the waste event here and here to the compression firing event here and here. All right, now, if I freeze the action, you'll notice number one cylinder in this particular instance is firing on compression. Number four cylinder here is firing on waste and has a lower firing amplitude. This ramp time here, we're at five microseconds per division. What you're seeing here is the ramp up of the secondary voltage measured at the ignition wire and charging your secondary capacitance. The same thing here, this little edge here, this downward edge is the break over at the spark plug gap. That's when the gap actually ionizes and the plug does what we call break over. As you can see the cylinder on waste has less in cylinder resistance to breaking over than does a cylinder on compression. So the waste cylinder always fires first on a DIS system. Each cylinder, whether 1-4 or 4-1, will be in different orders depending on cam phasing. In other words, which cylinder is on waste and which is on compression. I'll try to catch it on the opposite way. Just take some uh, chance here. Okay, here number four is firing on a compression and number one is firing on waste. And now if you put the cursors, you'll notice that there's quite a time difference between, well, I shouldn't say quite, but there is some time difference between the breakover edges on that particular event you're looking at, 3.2 microseconds, between the time that one broke over on waste and number four broke over on compression. Compression sense ignition system infers the cam signal from the capacitive energy in the ignition secondary. The duty cycle of the cam out signal is 50% if the system does not have a misfire. 